everybody, thank you for joining me on 13 is my beach. My name is Jess and I am a thriftaholic. Today we have a how to adjust your prices on ThreadUp. I am a part-time reseller and a little over a month ago I got into ThreadUp. So here we have my first kit that I technically purposely sourced for ThreadUp. I currently have about six active kits. And so let's just go through. You will receive an email notification when they have processed your items and you have 12 hours to adjust your prices before they go up for bidding. They are up for bidding with Poshmark prices if you do not adjust them and they go very low. As you can see, the prices here, if you look at the payouts, very minimal. I have not changed these yet. You can increase your price for 80% of the retail and I am going to show you how I do this, okay? So if you see right here, the number is getting smaller as I speak because that is the countdown of when the bidding will begin. So when the bidding begins, you cannot change your price for the 12 hour window of the bids. After that, you can adjust your prices if you miss the first 12 hour window, but items can sell at ThreadUp's pricing. It accidentally happened to me one time. So um, hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Let's, whoops, let's get to it for adjusting my prices. Okay, so this DKNY dress is actually a child's dress. I wanted to try this out. It was super cheap. I believe I got this at the bins or it was less than a dollar. Maybe it was given to me. I don't even know. Um, so you simply click in here and I always just start at 99. Now, if you see in red, it says must be between 4.99 and 40.99. So you go um, below the $40.99. So I will price this at the max bid of $39.99. Whoops, if I can type correctly. Okay, there you have it. So my payout is $10 and you click the save button so it will save that price. So it went from, I don't remember what the payout was before, but it went up to $10. Now let's do this. Beach Lunch Lounge shirt. It's a size 3X, and I believe I paid a quarter for this. So I previously sold a casual dress by this brand. I wanted to try out this top because it was plus size. So again, go in here and type in $99, and unfortunately, that's a quite low um, price. So I can do $34.99. Okay, save. So my 25 cents could potentially, potentially go to $7.87. I always try to buy as low as possible, unless it's a higher end brand. And Taylor Loft, I believe I got this for a dollar. Um, I think last week or the week before. So I can do $46.99. I don't know what my deal is tonight. Seriously, guys, I'm trying to multitask and it's not working. <laughs> okay, so my paint will be like $13.39, which I'm okay with. Uh, this H by Halston I actually got for myself. It's a very cozy rayon blend, um, but it was a little too clingy for me, so I figured I would go ahead and send it in. So again, save. I found quite a few Calvin Klein pieces yard sailing recently. So again, in the red, it says $55.99. So I'll do $54.99. Payout of $18.15. That's what I'm going for between $10 and the $18. This White House Black Market Blazer, I got at a garage sale for a dollar. And if you can see there, $127.99 which is awesome. So $126.99. Now if you see, I'm a little confused because the payout is $8.28. That's not correct. I'm going to go in and type that in again. <clears throat> okay. $126. There we go. There we go. Weird glitch. Now it's $83.05. Save. This Sandra Darren casual dress. I got this at a local Goodwill for $1.50 and I heard of somebody else buying it so I'm just going to see 
It's not as high as I was anticipating. I was hoping I could ask almost 100. If I could type. Here we go. Safe. So 1881, I will definitely take that. $1.50 into 1881 is a great profit for very little work. These Banana Republic jeans I got for a dollar at a local garage sale. I will raise that to $62.99. You can kind of get the gist, guys. Uh, the higher end brands will show you. Uh... Okay, this is New York and Company jacket. Oh, yeah, I, I tried selling this one myself. I got it at the bins. It has really pretty uh, cherry blossom embroidery on the back. It's like a satin bomber. And I'm not very satisfied with this picture. It's very um, washed out, uh, and it doesn't show the back, so that may be a hard sell. Okay, this moving on to the sweater. I got this at a garage sale for fifty cents a few weeks ago. You know, I'm sticking with the mall brands because that's what I can easily find um, in my area. I'm from a rural area in central Illinois. This Nanette Lepore I got at Goodwill for $1.50. It's a great career brand. Don't find it very often because I live like in cornfields, guys. Um, but look at that. I would be so happy with the payout of almost $140. I tend to stick with career pieces and mature brands. Um, so I've been getting a lot of Chico's because I find it a lot in like new condition for super cheap. So we will see how this works out. I actually wore this Chico's shirt. Sorry, I got a notification on my phone. Hopefully I sold something on Posh. Um, I actually wore this Chico's sweater for maternity um, family pictures we had in Florida last year because I normally don't wear it, but it was in my inventory last year. Couldn't sell, and so I wore it for, for, for these pictures. And it's been sitting in my closet. So let's see, $69.99. Awesome. I also have uh, had l luck. I've sold one CJ Banks sweater, which CJ Banks is plus size Christopher and Banks. Um, I sold a sweater for like $70. So the payout was $30. Um, although a sweater versus a top, the payout is quite a bit less for a top, unfortunately. And this was more of a sweater material. It was a knit. So I'm kind of upset because I did pay a dollar for that. So 532 is quite a bit lower than I was anticipating. That is a bummer. Okay, this cabbie top I actually bought on Poshmark for myself and I never actually wore it. Um, it is super cute modeled there. Oh my gosh, if it doesn't sell, then I might just keep it again. Um, again, you know, 80% of retail. This pink clover sweatshirt is new with tags. I can't remember where I got it. I bought it super cheap, like $1.50 probably. And it's a Stitch Fix. Um, saw this, the, the tags on it for Stitch Fix. Super cute. I just haven't worn it. It's been my closet. $8.39 is a little low, but... I guess I'll take that. This New York, um, Jones New York blazer is new with tags. And I did not have very good luck with that. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that payout. $228.99. I will be shocked. It's like a really pretty uh, navy blue. $183.19. Jones New York. Okay. Well, come back and check for my what sold for thread up and see if that's a brand to pick up because... That's an awesome payout. I have a couple of these Calvin Klein casual dresses, like the same style. Um, that would, This one will be a good payout, too, if it sells for full price of what I'm asking. A payout of $68.19, and I got that for a dollar at a garage sale. So this JBS casual dress, I was going to sell on Poshmark because it is just a, a lower end, like more of a boutique cheap made dress but I didn't feel like photographing it that payout is really sad I paid a dollar for that so it's only going to be $3.79 I'm not going to lower the price on that and I will just reclaim it and sell it myself on Poshmark for like 20 so I can net $16 okay so this Talbot's plaid button-up 
This is the third time I've sent this in, guys. Do not give up if they send a shirt back to you that they will not sell. This is the third time I have sent this in. It's like new condition, and they're finally going <laughs> to accept it because different people process your bags. So do not give up. Just make sure it doesn't have flaws. This cubby skirt was really cute and not my style, but it was in like new condition. I got it at a garage sale two weeks ago for $4. And it's the newer cabbie tag. So we will see. $4. I usually get my items for like a dollar unless I buy them at a thrift store. So this Calvin Klein jacket, I got this last winter at Goodwill. I think I paid maybe $3 for it. It might have been a fifty, but it's got, I don't know if the it's real leather or faux leather. But uh, super cute. It's like a, a tweed body. And then the arms are have like the leather accent. So that'd be a nice payout. This Marie says kimono. Marie says payouts are super poopy because, yes, I said poopy. I've got little boys and they talk about poop all day long. Okay. Um, Marie says has a very low payout, but I do not feel like photographing this. So I'm like I said, I'm sending my modern clothing into thread up and I'm only going to list uh, vintage pieces or if it's flawed off the saw myself. Ivanka Trump, I've never picked this up, but why not? It was a dollar. I really like the style. It's very feminine. It's a really pretty blush pink. I do not find Vince Camuto very often. Obviously, Vince, just like plain Vince, has higher resale value, but the color blocking on this knit sweater was so pretty. And I will be happy with a $33.75 payout. This Alex Evening's cocktail dress is gorgeous. It did have some deodorant marks on the inside of the armpit uh, from somebody trying it on. I actually had this donated to me by a family member. And I used a tip from another reseller. Her name is Chelsea. And you take a dryer sheet, which I believe I used a used dryer sheet. So it didn't have as much... Um, stuff on it and you just use some elbow grease and you rub that deodorant mark right off that way you don't have to spot treat it or wash it because like i said this was new with tags um this is a great like mother of the bride or mother of the groom dress whichever so if i could get almost a hundred dollars that would be awesome again beautiful blush pink knit sweater um here we go safe CJ Banks. I also got this for a dollar and looks like my payout will be more for this because they classified this one as a cardigan. The other one was a knit. Um, okay, so I'm testing something, guys. Don't mind me. Okay, so ThreadUp recently changed this. Before, you would have to type in, like, okay, before this part right here would not show. So this has changed within probably the last week. Um, so before you, that would not show and I would have to type in 99 and then it would say, okay, you can price up uh, your price has to be lower than 71.99, I think. So you'd have to go down $1, but now I'm going to have to go back through and raise all my prices like another dollar because I told you guys incorrectly. Um, so yeah, 70.99 if I could type save. Okay. Well, I'm not going to bore you with me going up and fixing my other ones, but these express jeans, they actually sent back to me. Um, they're new with tags, flaw free. They're from like last season. And I don't know why they didn't accept them the first time, but they took them the second time. I paid $5 for those at a garage sale, but since they were new with tags and a very recent um, item, I decided to go ahead and pay $5. This Lungo Larno cocktail dress, um, I believe it was a linen blend, linen silk, and I got it based off of that, but the payout is not that great. I thought it would be a little higher. Okay, so. Okay, but I paid a dollar for it, so I will take 20 for it. This Preston and York casual skirt was donated to me. So it looks like I can get $42.99 for that one. BKE. I love the color and the style of this blouse. Oh, wow. I'm kind of surprised at the payout. 
um, or I guess the max listing. Really pretty orange. I got it for either 50 cents or a dollar at a garage sale a few weeks ago. Did I put the maximum price there? I don't remember, guys. Like I said, I have a hard time multitasking. I did. Okay. I actually got this Teak, T-E-K, activewear athleisure dress for myself, but then realized it's a medium and I'm more of a large at the moment, so I got it for $1.50 um, last week, so I will just, if I can get $5 back, or I guess profit, technically, I'll take it, okay. So, I don't know if you remember at the beginning, but, um, I had a payout of like a hundred and some dollars, and it went to eleven hundred dollars. I always do expedited processing and return assurance. Um, they took 33 items. I'll have to look back at my notes and see how many I sent them, but not very much more than that. So they did almost accept every item I sent. I hope this was informative for you. And like I said, I will have to go back through because prior they would not show you the um, max. You would have to type in 99 or if it was over that, you'd have to type in 199. So this is very helpful that they now do that. So yeah. If this is your first time joining me, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. I have reseller content posted at least twice a week, if not three times. And I have thrift hauls, thrift with me's, what solds, thread up, I mean everything guys. So let me know in the comments below if there's something specific you would like to see and I will join you another time. Have a thrift delicious day. Bye.